facility that treats people who often find themselves most at risk. But scores of former employees say that in case after case, Harbor Oaks Hospital contributed to patients' pain and put staff at risk. Well, now amidst a controversy sparked by our latest 7 Action News investigation, the hospital is moving forward with plans to expand. 7 Investigator Ross Jones is here now with the surprising developments here. Ross? Carolyn, amidst allegations they don't have enough staff to care for patients already, Harbor Oaks is looking to add on to its current sprawling facility. It was supposed to be discussed at a meeting last night in New Baltimore, but then things changed. Who will answer our concerns if the CEO chooses to leave when she gets here and sees the news trucks? The CEO of Harbor Oaks Hospital went missing from Tuesday's meeting of the New Baltimore Planning Commission. She was supposed to be there to ask commissioners to approve an expansion of its current facility here on 23 Mile Road. But after she saw our cameras, she asked that the issue be tabled and then she left. How do we get to actually talk to the people about our safety concerns that run the place. Residents filled last night's meeting anyway in response to our recent investigation into the hospital, revealing accounts from former staff members who say Harbor Oaks was routinely and sometimes severely understaffed, putting patients and employees at risk. Stacks of police reports from the last few years show a pattern of alleged physical and even sexual abuse among patients. Abuse that staffers say was made possible by a lack of manpower. My concern is that it's not a properly run mental facility. It's not properly staffed and it's not safe for the patients. But it's not just those inside the hospital's walls that have been put at risk. At least four times since 2015, patients have been able to escape. Harbor Oaks as a facility right now is not functioning properly or staffed properly for the type of patients that they have and now they're going to build a new facility and who knows if staffing is going to increase. In one instance a patient was found holding a knife. In another a patient with a known violent history was located at a bus stop wielding an axe. I am concerned for the safety of my family and of my neighborhood. Because CEO Sarah Abramovich did not attend last night's meeting, the Planning Commission will have to wait until next month's meeting before deciding whether or not to greenlight their expansion. We'll be there too whether or not the CEO shows up. In a statement, Abramovich said she is proud to be building a new state-of-the-art hospital, saying that vulnerable patients deserve the best treatment. Stephen? All right, Ross, thank you for that report. Switching